Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm here to share with you my new art journal tutorial. This is a very simple and quick colorful mixed media page and I bet you will be able to repeat this after watching. Full supply list is in description below this video as usual. Here I have some paper leftovers. This is old book page pieces, college paper parts and uh, tissue paper which I made. And I already have a focal point for my page. This is big butterfly from Tim Holtz stamp set. I'm gluing papers with mud distress college medium. When it's dry, I'm applying a thin layer of gesso. Now gesso is dry and I'm adding some background stamping with archival ink pads. Here I have two distressed texture pastes and uh, two stencils which I want to use. First is mud paste and I'm spreading it through the stencil with script. Second paste is crackle paste and I'm applying it with palette knife without waiting when first paste will dry. Then I let paste dry naturally for 30 minutes and decided to help them with a heat gun. I'm using stamping platform to make good impression on plain college paper. I'm stamping twice just because I have enough inks on stamp after first impression. For gluing I'm using same matte medium. Now is the ink's turn. I have several distress spray stain colors uh, and I'm spraying carefully and adding a little bit of water to let the ink run. When first ink layer is dry, I'm adding two shades of brown 
because I want my page to look more grungy. I'm outlining butterfly with Faber Castell pit pen. Here I'm adding a little bit of stamping with archival ink pad. For this page I chose a sentiment from Tim Holtz Tiny Text stamp set and I'm stamping with archival ink pad as well. I'm staining edges of sentiment with Distress Archival Ink Pad. I also stained my page over the edges. I drew a tiny screws on both sides of the sentiment with brown Faber Castell pit pen. For gluing I'm using same Distress Matte Medium. Now I'm slightly spritzing my spread with water and lifting water drops together with inks from the background. It adds more interest to the page. For coloring my focal point I decided to use Derwent Ink Dance Pencils. I'm scribbling them and activating them with water.
Then I decided to use oil pastels to make butterfly more bright, but I wasn't happy with the result. Finally, I used Destroy Spray Stain, the color named Rusty Hinge, and this gives me result that I want to achieve. Hope you guys like this quick video. Please ask your questions if you have any, and don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. See you soon!